Hello viewers, many times the abstract ideas in mathematics become a challenge for the learner to understand. Keeping this in view, NCRT has prepared a maths kit for secondary classes. This kit is prepared to facilitate the teachers and the learners to perform mathematical activities on their own. The items prepared in this kit are specifically designed and they are academically very useful. The kit includes various items along with a manual for performing activities. The effective use of this maths kit can surely enhance the teaching learning process in the classroom. Now, let us explore the items present in the kit which are placed in different compartments. Look here, we have various items placed here. Let us start with the plastic strips provided in this kit. We have strips of A type in which specific slots have been provided which facilitate in arranging these strips to obtain various shapes like triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons and so on. We also have markings on this from 0 to 25. We also have B type strips here in which the markings are from 0 to 2.5. In this kit, we are also provided with some flyers and screws. These screws and flyers will help us in fixing these plastic strips to obtain the desired angles or triangles. We insert the screw and fix them with the help of the flyers. In this manner, we obtain an angle. Same way, we can attach one more strip and fix with the help of the screw and the flyer. In this way, we can get a triangle of various shapes. Likewise, we can form a quadrilateral also. In this manner. We also are provided with half protectors and full protectors in this kit. These half protectors are the normal protectors which we have in our classroom geometry boxes. We have 0 to 180 degrees marked on them. These can be arranged on these. We are having full protectors also which have marking from 0 to 360 degrees. These can be fixed on these plastic strips and we can measure angles with the help of these protectors. With the help of the protector, the angle between these plastic strips can be easily measured. This kit also has cutouts for verifying Pythagoras theorem. Look here, we can arrange these to demonstrate Pythagoras theorem. In 
in this manner that is a square plus b square is equal to c square. We are having 3 squares and a right angle triangle to demonstrate the Pythagoras theorem. We have another set of cutouts which are 5 in number they can be used to verify the Pythagoras theorem. Look here we can arrange them in this manner to verify the result of Pythagoras theorem. Similarly, we have another set of cutouts to show various factorizations of algebraic expressions. These cutouts will help us to verify the algebraic identities A plus B whole square. We also have some plastic cutouts here to verify algebraic identities. Look here, we can arrange this and prove identities like A minus B whole square. Many algebraic identities can be proved with these cutouts. Now, we are also provided with circular cutouts of corrugated boards. Look here, we have this circular corrugated board divided into 4 parts. Here, we have this into 6 parts. Here, this is having 8 parts. Similarly, it has 12 and 16. These can be used to verify area of a circle. We can also explain the concept of fractions with the help of these circular cutouts. We also have some algebraic tiles here which can be used to explain various algebraic identities. These we have squares in shape representing x square. Similarly, we have these tiles representing x in two different shapes. Also, we have some squares to represent unit, so that we can explain the identities like a plus b whole cube, a minus b whole cube or a plus b plus c whole square identities. We can use this algebraic tiles in order to explain factorization of algebraic expressions. Now, we also have some cutouts of corrugated boards which are blue in color. We have here, this is a trapezium and this is a triangle. If we join this, we get a parallelogram. Various shapes can be explained and they can be used to explain the areas. Also, we have a parallelogram here with two congruent triangles T1 and T2. This also can be used to explain the properties of a parallelogram, also the concept of congruency. Here we have another parallelogram made out of three triangles, triangle A, triangle B and triangle C. With this, many properties of triangles also can be explored. We also have a trapezium here, see, and if we have this cutout A attached at this end, we get a parallelogram. These can be arranged and they can be explained. This is a trapezium, and if we attach this triangle to this, it forms a parallelogram properties of parallelograms, triangles, trapezium all can be explored with the help of these corrugated cutouts. We also have a very innovative geo board in this kit. In this, we are having some pins known as dowels. These can be used 
to obtain various shapes on this geo board. See in this manner, we can just fix this pins on the geo board. Some holes are drilled in this geo board which facilitates the fixing of the pins on the geo board. We also have some multicolored rubber bands which we can use to make various shapes. Here we get a triangle. Same way, if we fix one more dowel, we can obtain the shape of a quadrilateral. Likewise, we can prepare any shape we desire, maybe a pentagon or a hexagon, with the help of this innovative geo board. We also have a trigonometric circular board provided which is very interesting. Look here, we have got an x axis and this is y axis. It also has markings on the circular scale. This represents various degrees. We are also provided with a rotating needle which we can fix at the center in this manner and we can study about various trigonometrical ratios. Look here, how do we do that? We have the markings on this circular scale namely 5 degrees, 10, 15 degrees, 20 degrees, this is 30 degrees, same way we have 45 degrees and 90 degrees. We have all the degrees marked on this circular scale. We also have markings on the x axis and y axis which facilitates the measuring of various calculations which we do with the help of this circular scale. We also have a solid cube with different shapes attached to it. See here, we have six faces of a cube in which four faces have four different shapes attached. In the first one, we have a hemispherical shape carved out of this cube which can be used to explain surface area and volume of hemisphere. Same way, we also have a cuboid which is having a depression of a cuboid here and we can explain the volume and surface area of the remaining cube after removing the cuboid. Similarly, on the third phase, we have a uh, cone attached to it. By removing, we can calculate the volume of the remaining cube. On the fourth phase, there is a cylinder which is removed, cylindrical portion is removed and thus we can study about the surface area and the volume of the remaining cube. These items can be very innovatively used in the classroom to perform various mathematical activities. So, use these items of the maths kit and make learning a fun. Thank you.